Hey, hey, what's going on, Corvette Cruising fam? This is me, Ed. And listen, today's video is all about my three month review, uh, my purchase of the C8. Uh, and also, I'm going to talk about a purchase of a, a radiator guard. So, stay tuned. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and then click that bell notification to be notified whenever I produce a new video. Well, thanks a lot, you guys, for for rolling with me and um, uh, uh, on this journey. I am almost at 500 subscribers, getting close you guys. I'm at 450 now. So if you are not a new subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. If you are a subscriber, share this with your friend uh, who is a Corvette owner, a Corvette lover, so that I can uh, be encouraged to put out some, some new videos. <clears throat> so today, I wanna talk about my three months i purchased the vehicle in may and uh, or i should say i picked the vehicle up from the dealership in may and um before i really wanted to drive the car i don't know about you guys but i wanted to make sure that everything was in place so that i didn't have anything on my mind uh, when it came to um, you know the vehicle you know being damaged uh, if you will so the first thing that I did was because the car was transported and my car is a black car I wanted to make sure that I got rid of all those scuff marks uh, you know because when they transport the car they bring it over with a cover with a transport cover and you know wind gets up underneath that that uh, cover kind of hits on the uh, car a little bit and puts these little my uh, my uh, very minute uh, 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 scratches in it they're like micro scratches and so I had to get those out I buffed those out once I got those buffed out then I uh, uh, waxed and polished the vehicle and got a ceramic coat on the car that was one of the first things that I did now remember when you are doing these kinds of things the car needs to rest you just can't go from one thing to the next um, so the next thing that I did was I got the PPF on the car PPF um, was put on by a person. I, I got videos on that as well. I did not wax the front end um, or the side rockers. You can't put PPF on top of the ceramic coat. So anyway, so I did not ceramic coat the front or the side rocker panels. Um, and then, hey, I was ready to ride. So, um, oh, I was almost ready to ride. Then I had to get uh, my, my tent. I wanted the, a little darker tent on the side. That took a little bit of time. Um, I got I ordered some some cargo mats. Uh, one of the things that you have to be mindful of if you're going to get a C8, especially a 23, uh, you got to be patient. You just have to be patient because there are a lot of constraints. Uh, there are a lot of back orders on things, and my cargo mats uh, had a back order on the cargo mats, and so I still do not have the front mats. Uh, for for the for the C8. Now, yes, the car the car has mats that that it came with, but I wanted rubber mats. Uh, there's no other family like the Corvette family. Uh, I have met so many people, so many different uh, groups and and and, and organizations. Uh, it, it, it's just phenomenal. So, if you are in a group, if you are in a club or a Corvette club, put it in the comments. Tell me what what club you're riding with, what club you're involved with, and then you can even put in the comments how to get uh, involved uh, with your particular club. You know, what's the address or a phone number or something like that. That's that's really what this is all about. I, I, I love that aspect of it. Um, the only thing that really happened to me with this car so far, mechanically so far, is that one day uh, I got in a car and the whole instrument panel was black whole instrument panel I'm just I'm riding down the street and all of a sudden I look and the whole instrument panel is black and so I didn't I did not have um, um, a, 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 a speedometer a radio everything was black now the radio was playing it was playing but everything was black I just pulled over to the side of the road and I uh, let the car sit for a while everything uh, uh, reset and I gave it some time just let it reset took my time car reset boom everything came back on and has been back on ever since now if that happened to you and you did something else put it in the comments put it in the comments. let us know what you did what i did i turned the car off let it rest turn the car back on 
and then everything you know came back on so I didn't have any any problems with that um, and I will say this too after my 500 mile break-in the car rides much better it just rides better I don't know if it's psychologically y'all tell me talk to me in the comments come on y'all talk to me in the comments I don't know if it's me psychologically but after that 500 mile break-in y'all man this car runs like a top like a top now when I have my C7 again you know it, it could be just me everybody is different that's one thing that I love about this community it's not just C8s. We are a community from C1 all the way down to C8. You know, uh, one of the things that is discouraging these days is that if you don't say anything about a, a Z06, people won't view the channel, right? And so, um, you know, if, if we start talking about uh, Z06 constraints, we may get 10,000, 20,000 views, right? Um, but, but we're more than just the Z06. We're way more than that. We're from C1 all the way to C8. And that's what I love about this, this community. So if you have whatever your car is, put it in the comments. Let me know. Put it in the comments. C1, C2, C3. You got a C4, C5, C6, C7, C8. Put it in the comments. And this is what I want to know. Uh, what is the year of your car? Put that in the comments. Let's blow it up, y'all. Give me some thumbs up as well. Put some thumbs up. Let's just send the algorithms going crazy. Send some thumbs up. What is your car? Uh, what year is your car? What color is your car? Put it in the comments so we can all see it, you guys, because, you know, you guys are watching and, um, you know, that, you know, uh, uh, we get stronger by by one another. Um, if you have a name for your car, I just want to have some fun, y'all. Come on, y'all. I just want to have some fun with the channel. If you have a name for your car, I've got a name for my car. Now, I'm going to take you guys back a little bit. The name of my car is Black Beauty. Look at that car. Black Beauty. Just gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. Black Beauty. Now, I didn't come up with the name. Yes, there was a horse named Black Beauty, but I didn't get it from the horse. I got it from, I got it from the Green Hornet. <laughs> Y'all remember the Green Hornet? That was, that's what Kato called the car. Kato called the car Black Beauty. And so I looked, I said, man, that's, I just could not. I could not, every time I looked at my car, I looked at it and I said, Black Beauty, man, that thing is just gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous, Black Beauty. What's the name of your car? What do you call your car? White Lightning, what do you call your car? Blue Streak, what do you call your car? What's your, do, do you have a name for your car? What's the name of your car? Put it in the comments, you guys. Let's have some fun with the channel, all right? Um, this is what I came to give you today. The last thing that I have, I've had done on the car is one of my, I went to a, uh, a Corvette uh, uh, cruise. Uh, we went and got some ice cream. We cruised to an ice cream parlor, got some ice cream, and I ran into a YouTube friend of mine, uh, Find the Right Road. And uh, he's got a C8, he's got a 2023 20, C8. We subscribed to one another, and he took me over to his car. He said, Look, he said, I got these, um, these uh, radiator guards. And I said, Wow, man, that's good. He told me where he got his from. So I went out and I purchased scrape armor guard scrape armor guard their radiator guards scrape armor guard radiator guards I, I, you, you you can see the um, you can see the photos I had I ordered them from Shaheen Chevrolet and then uh, it took about three days for them to come in from uh, Shaheen Shaheen then called me and said your your radiator guards are here and they scheduled an appointment I scheduled an appointment for uh, literally the next day and then uh, Brought the car in, they put the, the radiator guards on for me, gave me the box back and all that stuff. And now, now I feel good, you guys. I really feel good. My car, after three months, I've got about 3,000 miles on the car. And so uh, I'm going to top 3,000 miles by the time this video is up. No, you guys, I haven't take, uh, put any real, real long um, miles on the car. I haven't taken it for any long trips. I just don't have the time. Um, so, you know, my trips are 300 miles at a time. So that's that's how I drive the car. And then I just drive it around town. Uh, I, I'll give you this and, and then I'm going to get out of your way. Um, I was sitting at the coffee shop uh, with the car. And I'm sitting there and um, uh, I'm just sitting outside. It's, it's, it's a nice day. And all of a sudden, I saw this this car 
crews up in the parking lot and they slow down. And these two guys, young guys, it must have been about 20, uh, 24, 25 young cats. They start leaning out their car, just taking pictures of the car with their camera. And I said, wow, man. And then they looked over there and they saw me sitting there looking at them and I had this big grin on my face and they gave me the thumbs up and I gave them the thumbs up and they yelled out there, beautiful car, beautiful car, sir. And so that's really what our Corvettes do to people. They, they put smiles on people's faces, okay? So listen, this is not a long video. Just want to let you guys know everything is going well with the car. This is what I want you to do. Like, subscribe, click that bell notification to be notified whenever I produce a new video. Please, if you can, share this with somebody. Share this with your friend so that we can get up to 500. I'm, I'm striving for 1,000 of us. All right, you guys, that's all I have. Enjoy the ride.